What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. One year ago today, I made a video and shared it with you all about resin 3D printing cleaning alternatives. Yes, I know that's quite a long title, but it was all about finding alternative solutions to using isopropanol alcohol. This is pretty much the go-to for a lot of people for cleaning off their resin 3D prints. The problem is it's kind of harsh to work with. And as of right now, for the past handful of months with all the craziness that's going on in the world, this stuff is incredibly, and I mean incredibly hard to get a hold of, or if you can find it, it's way, way overpriced from what it should be. In that video, the primary takeaway was that Mean Green was going to be the solution for me. And this is in fact been the tool that I had been using for the past year now. So I've been using this inside of my ultrasonic cleaner and I think it works really, really well. However, I also still use isopropanol alcohol for cleaning off different, you know, my build plates or spills. And I'll end up using a little bit of IPA inside this spray bottle since it helps minimize the amount that I need to use off of the prints that have come out of the Mean Green cleaning solution. I also use a little toothbrush scrubber there to help get in the little nooks and crannies as well. So what I wanna look at today is some of the other alternatives that I'm seeing folks use over on the Facebooks or here on YouTube or any of the other social media platforms there. And I really wanna run these through the same test that I went through on the last time I did this and then compare those against some of my prints using the Mean Green Cleaning Solution and see if there's just a better option out there that's maybe not as expensive or just does a better job at overall cleaning off my prints. So we're gonna be looking at three different cleaning methods. One of those is using acetone. The next is dentured alcohol or fuel as it's listed here in really big text, as well as my personal favorite, Everclear. <laughs> that's right. This is just a bottle of booze that I'm gonna be using to clean off my resin prints. Both of these I can't drink or mean green or IPA, but I mean, technically I could drink this if I wanted to. All right, so here is my setup for this test here. I've got all four of the different products that we're gonna be taking a look at during this testing process. I've got them on my wham bam slap mats here. I love these things, using them, it helps really keep everything more or less clean. It allows me to easily clean things up as well. Uh, off to the side here, I have a plastic bowl full of just water here. So if I wanted to rinse any of the prints off, I have something I can do use with that. I also have these pickle jar containers. If you haven't seen these already, these are a great little add-on that you can pick up over off of Amazon. They're pretty cheap and they're great for using for smaller resin 3D prints here. For some of these chemicals here, like the dentured alcohol and the acetone, I believe, these typical latex gloves do not work well with it. So I ended up picking up some of these nitrile gloves here that should be more resistant to the chemicals that are within the acetone and the dentured alcohol. So I'll be slipping these on here as well while I run through this. Also a big warning, do not use the alcohol, acetone or dentured alcohol here in a ultrasonic cleaner. Do not use IPA in an ultrasonic cleaner. Those are extremely, extremely flammable. I repeat, do not, please do not use those in your ultrasonic cleaners. You're gonna risk yourself for causing some sort of a micro explosion and a fire and all that other craziness here. Uh, the only thing that I will run in my ultrasonic cleaner is the Mean Green product. So just keep that in mind. That's why I'm not using the ultrasonic cleaner in any of this setup here is because this is all very, very flammable and I do not want to burn my house down. All right, so first up, let's take a look at the acetone here. The fumes from this are pretty strong. I've got a window open here in my uh, print recording space here. You'll definitely want to be using a pretty well ventilated area whenever working with any of these. I'm pretty sure this fumes from the dentured alcohol as well as the Everclear are <laughs> gonna be strong. Probably different uh, reasons why those might hurt you. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get started with the acetone here. I'm gonna be using the, again, the pickle jar containers for this. So I'm gonna pour in a good healthy amount inside this container, clean up any overflow that occurred here. So here I'm gonna dump in the Mimic and let's dump in one of the Rooks and the Amerilabs file and I need a cube. So there we go. And what's great about these pickle jars is it does have this little, little insert there that makes it a little bit easier to actually move these about and agitate the prints while they're in the cleaning solutions here. And I believe this is only gonna take about 30 seconds or so for this, it, at least from what I've read on a number of different people's posts over on Facebook groups, 
that it should be pretty quick to clean off all of the excess resin on the leftover prints here. All right, let's load up this fuel here, this dentured alcohol and see how this goes. Again, a, another really strong chemical smell with this. You more than likely wanna be using respirators as well as having a well-ventilated air that you're working with here, but it's something that you wanna potentially keep in mind when working with this. As I'm spilling it everywhere. This is typically what not to do when working with materials is what I'm doing in any of my videos. Making a huge mess here. So let me clean this up as well. Good news is this is uh, helping me clean up my, my desk area and potentially ruin my spawn t-shirt. So one thing I am gonna have to do is pour my dentured alcohol that I was using inside my pickle jar back into this container just because I do not have another pickle jar container that I can use for my next set of tests. So I'm just gonna pour this back in here. Again, probably not the best thing in the world for you to do, but uh, yeah, live and learn here by the rules of Uncle Jesse. And since I'm not ever planning on using this dentured alcohol for anything else other than cleaning resin 3D prints, I don't really care. All right, and finally, let's take a look at this Everclear. So I'm gonna pour this back into this container here. And again, we'll just continue to agitate this here in the container for about 30 seconds and we'll see how it goes. Obviously the mean green 30 seconds is nowhere near enough to agitate my prints. If I'm manually doing that, it's gonna be a good bit. So I even have a large five gallon bucket in the other room there for my larger resin 3D prints that are even too large to fit in an ultrasonic cleaner. So anything like a helmet or a really large face mask or a weapon of some sort of prop, continually dunking in this large bucket of mean green to try and clean those prints off. It's also where that spray bottle of IPA really comes in helpful. All right, so let's check out the test results from our little experiment here. All of these resin prints have not been cured under UV light or sat out in the sun for curing. I wanted to take that in consideration when we're looking at these actual post-processed prints here for you guys versus what I did previously. A part of this as well is uh, what was very cool is that these acetone and the dentured alcohol prints, they dried up extremely fast after removing them from the cleaning bath and letting them sit out for maybe a minute or two and they were really dry to touch, which is very, very cool to see. First off, let's take a look at the acetone prints here. So these all look really nice. I think they look really clean. I'm not really seeing any sheen to them. Nothing's really shiny like I was seeing with the mean green when cleaning those and not having it thoroughly cleaned and having residual residual residue there. I am seeing a lot of white specks or I'm not sure what exactly that is. I'm not sure if it was from the prints or something with the acetone. Maybe I left the print in the acetone for a little bit too long. Maybe about 30 to 40 seconds was too long. Maybe I should try it for about 15 seconds. I'm not entirely sure. But overall, I mean, I'm, I would be very happy with this if I had, uh, if I just had acetone and was looking to clean my prints off. Again, not bad with all the little white specks there. I could probably more or less wash those off or brush those off with a small toothbrush. Next up is the dentured alcohol. This might be my favorite out of all of them. And it just, all of the prints look super, super clean. Another one of these where as soon as I took it out of the bath that dried up very, very quickly here, I don't see all of the white specks on this like I was seeing with the acetone. And I'm not really seeing any sheen to the prints as well. So again, I haven't cured these. So I'll have to see maybe a little bit uh, in the post process of the video here, I'll do a little comparison of what it looked like before and after with the curing. I'm imagining it's not gonna change that much, but yeah, yeah, I'm very, very, very happy with the results from this one here. All right, now let's take a look at the Everclear. This, again, looks really nice, and I think it even looks better than the mean green results that I'm typically seeing. It is a little bit more tacky than the dentured alcohol or the acetone. So a little bit to that tackiness to touch that you're feeling there, when working with these before curing is something that you wanna be aware of. It also has a little bit more of a sheen to it, that gloss appearance compared to the other two that I was working with. Uh, the, the positive side to this one is that it doesn't have nearly as strong of a scent as the other, so this might be a little bit easier to work in a confined space if you have to do that. Again, you probably wanna have a window open though, because <laughs> it might just smell like you're boozing it up pretty heavily. 
And lastly, I mean, up until now, this has been my favorite, Mean Green. This, I feel like I've been wasting my time now with Mean Green compared to these others. This ran in the ultrasonic cleaner for my usual 15 minutes now, and it's pretty slimy to touch here. I even rinsed it through a water bath and scrubbed it light lightly. I did not use any of the IPA spray on any of this. It definitely has more of a sheen to it than the others. It's definitely just not as clean, at least even feeling, as all of the other prints. So I think I'm actually gonna take this experiment one tiny step further and combine the Mean Green solution and my dentured alcohol. The dentured alcohol was easily, I think my favorite result out of all of these most recent tests here. It was just really super clean. Uh, I can get a huge container of this one gallon for 18 bucks and it seems to work extremely, extremely well. But the Mean Green is able to go directly in my large ultrasonic cleaner, which is great for my really big large resin 3D prints. So what I'm thinking about doing is gonna run my print through the ultrasonic cleaner with Mean Green, and then after that's out, I'm gonna actually take some of the dentured alcohol and try and clean it off even further, just hand rubbing it on there, or maybe I'll put it in one of the spray bottles that I have with the dentured alcohol and give that a test and see how that combination effect works out here. All right, so now for the fun part of this experiment here, this is a Iron Man faceplate file that was uh, created by Nico Industries and his wonderful crew over there. So what I've done is I've already run this through the ultrasonic cleaner with Mean Green. I've just loaded up this bottle that says Mean Green, but it's not Mean Green, it's dentured alcohol here. And I've got a bucket of water here just to you know capture anything here that I'm spraying on. And basically, I'm just going to spray this on, it's a lovely sound by the way, onto the print here and see how it goes with cleaning up any of the residual leftover goodness here. Hopefully the Mean Green and the Dentured Alcohol don't react to each other in any negative way. <laughs> I probably should have tested this on one of the other smaller files before going off and <laughs> testing it here on this nice long 22 hour faceplate print. I also have my handy dandy toothbrush here that I can use to scrub away at any of the nooks and crannies here, as well as I'm going through this. All right, and here's the cleaned up print. I think it's turned out pretty nicely here. It's still a little bit tacky. It's just not as clean as the straight denture to alcohol cleaning I was seeing with the little Mimic miniature file. This is a much larger piece here, so I'm not entirely sure how this would work with just using straight dentured alcohol with this. So I'm gonna have another project that I'm working on here that once that print is finished, I'll be testing that out just using the straight spray bottle method, not even using the Mean Green with that and seeing if the results are any better. Still, it's really good. It's I'm happy with how this turned out. It's probably on par with me using Mean Green and IPA at this point. And again, it's just so hard to get a hold of the IPA. And again, looking at the three that we were just testing out here today, the Everclear is probably in the third place seat there. Just really didn't clean as well as the other two. The Acetone left a little bit of residue and the Denture just worked pretty, pretty dang well, especially for this being under $20 for a one gallon container, it's pretty easy to get a hold of, at least here stateside, probably depending on the state that you're in. And if you can't get a hold of this, go with the acetone option here. And again, this is should be available in a one gallon size as well, especially now that it's so hard to get a hold of the IPA solution for cleaning your resin 3D prints. So hopefully this video was somewhat helpful for you guys. If you're interested in testing out these, let me know what your results are. If you have other methods of cleaning your resin 3D prints, let me know down in the comments because I'd love to hear those. I'm always interested in hearing how other people are cleaning up and getting better results with their resin 3D printers. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. I just want to say thank you to all my Patreon members. If you're interested in finding out more about my Patreon, how you can help support this channel, you can find links down below or on one of the buttons here on the screen. Just recording a quick little thumbnail version of this, emptied out this bottle and using some water to pour over the faceplate here if you're wondering how I did that little thumbnail for the video.